Uh, Mary Katani from third place. Next to her, Bruzanesh Deba, our second place finisher, and our champion 2011 IMG New York City Marathon champion, Frewa Dado of uh, Ethiopia. Um, just one or two uh, little uh, quick uh, facts here. Um, the victory was uh, by four seconds, four second margin, second closest finish in uh, New York City Marathon history. And, and quite a lucrative one for Freywatt, who wins $130,000 plus a $50,000 time bonus for $180,000 first place uh, check. No applause, please. I'm going to uh, ask each of the uh, ladies to say a couple words about today's race, how it, how it turned out. There certainly was. Uh, plenty of drama in, in today's race, so they can talk about that, and then we'll open it up for questions. We'll start with Frey Watt. Sabrina. some ways you beat yourself by going out too fast? Did you? I'm going to get the I mean, I, I know that, you know, you congratulated them for getting first and second, but in many ways it seems like they didn't beat you, you beat yourself by going out too fast. Do you, do you think in hindsight the opening first half was, was too fast? It's, it's 67 minutes. Okay, for me, when I was going fast, uh, but I, at the end, I was feeling a bit uh, fatigue in my leg, and that's why I lose a little bit the last day I had, and that's why my colleagues got me on the way. Sabrina, maybe you can ask both, both our champion and uh, the Bruzinesh. Yeah. Did they ever think they were going to catch Mary when she had such a huge lead, and how did that work as it came up?
እሷ በጣም ገና ስለጀምር ጀምሮ ነው አንተ ልጅ እንደርስባታል እኔ ለሰጥኩኝ ነበር ግን ያው ጥሩ እየመጣ ስለነበር እዚህ እንደርስ ነው የናስን ግን ደስተኛ ነኝ ታላቅ because she'd been running so fast in the very beginning i didn't imagine that we would catch her but when we did get closer and we saw her i was very surprised and i was very happy too that we were able to catch her good talk yes uh, she's very popular in the orbit she's very strong but i know uh, uh, i have confidence if i catch her and i i'm trained very hard if uh, i train for the computer and I know my thing. Uh, and you caught her? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Other questions? Right here. Uh, yes. Um, Ms. Diva, uh, at one point in the last 20 miles, you had been dropped by Mary and by um, Ms. Dotto. And uh, you are, have local knowledge of the course, and you ended up coming within four seconds of the win. So tell me about the last 10K of the race as you were racing and coming back to make a very, very close margin, um, just narrowly getting beat out after being dropped um, by the two other placers in the, uh, the race. so many times in New York, did that help at all toward the end of the race, especially in the park? Uh, yes, the people is to me, and that's, that's good for me. I'm so happy when they train me, and I know the course, I train uh, two times a week, the Central Park. Yeah, that's it. Ray in the back, John. Uh, yeah. So even for the two winners, uh, the second half of your race, for the two uh, the first and second place finishers, even though you caught Mary, the second half of your race was still a lot slower than the first half. Do you think you were going the, the first half ahead of course record? Do you think the first half may have even been a little bit too fast for you? Um, yes, the early pace was a bit too fast, so after that it was harder and we couldn't go as fast. Yeah, the first half it was fast and the second one is a little bit slow and it has a lot of feeling. in the Bronx. Uh, 
first were in the Bronx, I'd be very happy. <laughs> would, would she say uh, how many, uh, or did she know whether friends or neighbors were going to be out on the course? Did she think there was a lot of them there, or could she tell that at all? decision uh, and it was the right it was the correct call that they just managed to come up with a good race and beat these athletes. For me it was okay at first because I was feeling my body was okay. But uh, after that five K is well I feel my fatigue in my leg and that's why I am slow a bit. Can you just Right yeah, it was the right leg. And at what pace? I mean that 5K. Yeah, uh, we'll go back here. Uh, we'll go back to Phil. Uh, yeah, this is also for Mary. Uh, the next time that you run in New York, will you try the same or different way to do it? Maybe if I'm coming in at your station. I'm, not, I'm sorry, Mary. Will you run the same or will you change your, 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 your strategy to run differently if you came back next year? Maybe if I had come next year and my body would react okay, maybe no problem, I would run the same. I would not change. You will not change. Back here, uh, we'll go with John and then Roger, right in front of you. So, Mary, when uh, the, the two other ladies caught you in the park, they passed you momentarily and then you stayed with them and you were running ahead of them again. Did you think at that point that you could still win? Did you were you worried at that point when they caught you? When I saw them just the, the ladies passing me, I wanted to try to cross their cup, but uh, my leg was not allowing me to push. Okay, uh, right, right back in the back here, uh, Roger. So we just want one more for Mary. Mary, we know that you and your coach planned very meticulously, very exactly. Did you plan to run faster than 2.20 today? Maybe I was too tired, but I was not thinking. There's a... Any, any more questions? Um, just, um, I'm just going to ask, uh, Sabrina, if you could uh, just ask um, Freywa, um, her height, her, her weight, and her family, does she have a husband or she has children? If you could ask her that, please. My way. 
weight is 46 kilograms. My height is 1 meter 61. Uh, I have a friend and I don't have any kids. Yeah, Amy? For the women, I was wondering if you could just give us a little bit more information about her background and how she came to the marathon. And for her second place, the cramps you mentioned, you wear with the cramps. <coughs> Um, I felt the cramps on both sides, on the right and on the left, underneath my ribs. I began running in school. As far as the marathon, I mostly began because of my coach, Haji. He was the one who encouraged me and pushed me to start the marathon. I had no intentions of doing that. Okay, and as one final, uh, one final fresh, uh, note, Sabrina, if you could ask, um, she's won the uh, Rome Marathon three times, Mumbai once. Has, has she ever lost in the marathon, or are those just the, the four major wins that she's had? No, she was fifth in, 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 in Mumbai. She was fifth in Mumbai, I'm sorry, in 2000. Um, we're going to have a, uh, one final question uh, for the ladies. Uh, otherwise, we're going to just uh, sort of switch places and bring in one, two, and three of the men. Any other questions? Oh, one more. Rachel. Yeah. I'll be able to. For Bazunish, uh, did Berkeley give you any special advice this morning, and did you see him along the course at all? I didn't see him in the course, but uh, he gave me advice. Uh, what can we learn in the pain? That he gave me the pain. And we, uh, we thank and congratulate.